Hi everybody, Deb Singer, Program Supervisor for the Sandusky County Park District here. Um, this is the next edition of Discover Your Neighborhood and today we're going to be taking a look at a creature that some people when they see them get a little nervous if not slightly freaked out. But don't worry, it's okay, they're not going to hurt you. We're going to be taking a look at the industrious little carpenter bee. First, let's make sure we're talking about the right insect. This is one of the larger bees that a lot of people clump together as a bumblebee, but there is a difference between a bumble and a carpenter bee. Carpenter bees have smooth, shiny abdomens, and bumblebees have fuzzy abdomens. True to their name, carpenter bees excavate their nests in things made of wood, such as wooden benches, wood fences, and even wood furniture. You may realize you have carpenter bees when you look up one day and there's a bee hovering in front of you just staring you down. Those are the males. They're either patrolling for a female or guarding their nest site. You can identify males by the fact that they have a white spot between their eyes. Females are lacking this white spot. Another way to identify the presence of carpenter bees is if you find holes about the size of your pinky finger on the underside of wooden objects. These are the nests. So we had a really warm day a few days ago, which means the carpenter bees were really active because they're ectothermic. They become more active the warmer it gets. I knew that we had some holes underneath one of our wooden benches, and I was determined to capture them on film. And this is what I got. As soon as I looked at the entrance hole, I was greeted by this handsome fellow. This is the male. You can tell because he's got that white spot between his eyes. I knew he was in there because I could actually hear him chewing the wood. So I figured since the male was inside the nesting area, the female had to be close by. So I decided to wait. After a while, we could hear a buzzing off in the distance. The male retreated into the nest cavity and then the female arrived. That's her getting ready to go into the nest cavity. If you notice, she's covered with all that yellow dust. That's pollen that they're going to use for their brood. You might think that their nest is just a simple hole. It's not. Once they've created their entrance, they'll make a 90 degree turn and continue excavating their gallery. It will then be divided into compartments. The barriers are made of a combination of saliva and sawdust. In each compartment, there will be one egg as well as a mixture of nectar and pollen that's called bee bread for the larva to feed on. Because of their larger size, carpenter bees have trouble collecting nectar from certain varieties of flowers. To get around this, these sneaky little creatures will go to the base of the flower, chew a hole, and steal the nectar. Okay, now I'm gonna leave you with a few final facts about carpenter bees. First, contrary to popular belief, carpenter bees do not eat wood. They only excavate it. So if you happen to find a nest cavity and you look underneath of it, you'll probably find tiny piles of sawdust. Also, carpenter bees can live two to three years. They will overwinter in their nest cavities that they excavated. And last but not least, you remember at the beginning of the video when I said, don't worry, they won't hurt you. The males don't have stingers, so they can't sting you. The females, they have stingers, but they're very docile. It takes a lot to get them angry. So that gives you the excellent opportunity of being able to sit back and watch these guys from a safe distance and witness them creating a nest cavity. So with that, get outside and go see if you can find some carpenter bees to observe.